The Long Road by Wolflin. You deserve a good rest, Claydol. His voice was gentle, but his nerves were returning in full force. It had taken nearly two of Steven's Pokémon to down one of Drake's. If they were going to be facing more aerial speed, he needed a Pokémon that could match up on an even playing field. His hand slid to the Pokéball next to Claydol's. All right, Skarmory, it's your turn! Steven's only flying Pokémon needed no further urging, and with a defiant screech, it took to the skies as soon as its Pokéball opened. Except that the air above the arena was otherwise empty. That was odd. Steven swore he heard the release of Drake's Pokéball. As Skarmory circled overhead, it glanced back down toward the battlefield with a grumpy squawk. Sitting stout on four legs and lacking any distinct wings at all was Drake's second Pokémon. The only dragon-like feature he could see was a pair of fierce eyes peering out from deep within the fused plates of its massive armored shell. Steven blinked. Did Drake just send out a pre-evolved Pokémon in the championship match? As ridiculous as it sounded, Steven shook his head. Drake was no fool. That Shellgon had to be a powerful Pokémon. He just hoped he could relay that information to Skarmory before his flyer got too cocky. At least they held the aerial advantage this round. Skarmory, keep your distance! When his shout was met with a disgruntled stare from his partner, Steven frowned. He knew Skarmory could be headstrong, but they could ill afford to rush in without due caution. Thankfully, instead of attacking on its own, Skarmory aborted its swooping path for a safer distance from where Shelgon was hunkered, all the while keeping a keen eye on the grounded dragon type. Except that as Skarmory are tire, Shelgon gave a quiet grunt and curled in on itself to raise its defense, but otherwise didn't move at all. Bringing a hand to his chin, Steven muttered to himself, they must be planning something. Skarmory, get ready! Obeying with a screech, Skarmory wheeled to face Shelgon, wings unfurled and ready to react. But still, the only thing the Shelgon did was raise its defense once more, prompting an angry caw from Skarmory. Steven scowled. What was Drake doing? Was Shelgon not actually as strong as he assumed? Maybe Drake was playing mind games to try to trick him into overthinking things? Overhead, Skarmory squawked again, growing more and more impatient as Shelgon continued to just sit, unmoving. Handballing into a fist at his side, Steven felt his own impatience rise to the surface. They had wasted two turns waiting for Drake to play his hand, and Steven decided that they weren't going to wait any longer. STEEL WING! With a vicious glint in its eye, Skarmory hesitated only a moment before rocketing towards Shelgon with a piercing screech. But even as Skarmory drew near, Shelgon still did not bother to run, or hide, or even make an attempt at all to dodge the blow. Instead, Steven's eyes went wide as a fiery glow began to churn from deep within the opening of Shelgon's armor. FLAMETHROWER! Skarmory, dodge! The roar of flames drowned out most of Steven's shout, but Skarmory didn't need any urging to avoid the tongue of fire that shot from Shelgon's mouth. Neatly barrel rolling at the last minute, the flamethrower only brushed the edges of Skarmory's feathers as it closed in and delivered a direct strike to the Shelgon's body. The ear-piercing shriek of metal on bone cut through the air as the full weight of Skarmory's steel wing slammed into Shelgon. But instead of its plate armor giving way or sending the dragon tumbling, Shelgon didn't budge an inch. Instead, Skarmory's wing skipped along the curving ridges of Shelgon's shell, only to catch in one of the joints. Its wing suddenly jolted to a halt, and Skarmory let out a dismayed squawk as its momentum sent it cartwheeling head over heels over Shelgon's back directly into a nearby pile of boulders. Before the stones even stopped tumbling, Drake's hand came to bear, 
and with a swivel of his forearm, Shelgon sprung into action. Pivoting, flames began to dance from its mouth once more, and before Skarmory could dislodge itself from the rubble, the flamethrower shot forward and doused both it and the surrounding rocks in fire. But the attack was short-lived, as two blades of white energy shot from the center of the flames, striking Shelgon across the face. The dragon winced from the glancing blow, giving Skarmory the respite it needed to burst from the molten rock and stagger back to its feet. Steven paled as he took in the condition of his Pokémon, and even though Skarmory's gaze was alight with rage, it panted heavily while trying to ignore the pain from the blackened scorch marks that pockmarked its body. As Skarmory wavered where it stood, Stephen's jaw clenched as its wing came into view. The feathers were so mangled from impact that Stephen feared the worst. They had lost the advantage of flight. But from the way Skarmory leered at Shelgon, it was clear that it had no intention of giving up. And given his first-hand experience with Skarmory's fighting ability on flat ground, Steven shook off the feeling of unease in his gut, and commanded Skarmory with a sweep of his hand. Circle around Shelgon! Get out of its sightline! Talons kicking up rubble as it ran, Skarmory dashed into action, strafing as best it could across the rocky, uneven ground as Shelgon swiveled to keep up. It seemed like Skarmory was able to keep its footing, so Steven pushed for their last advantage. Speed! Use agility! Skarmory grimaced as it pushed its battered body to the limit, vanishing in a silver streak of the high-speed maneuver. Shelgon's eyes went wide as it tried to track where its opponent had disappeared to, but Drake narrowed his gaze and calmly raised an open palm toward his partner, waiting. The gesture caught Steven's attention, and he hesitated. Did Drake have a counterattack planned? Realizing he was now holding his breath, he nervously counted the seconds since Skarmory vanished. How long could his injured Pokémon keep up its agility? They were running out of time. He couldn't wait for Drake any longer. Now, Skarmory! The air around Shelgon erupted with a vicious screech, causing the Dragon-type to wince as its defenses dropped. Cracking one eye open, Shelgon looked up just in time to see Skarmory appear in front of it bladed wing raised to strike, but a motion just behind Skarmory caught its attention instead. Wordlessly, Drake swept his arm downward, and Shelgon nodded. Skarmory's steel wing sliced through thin air as Shelgon pulled its own vanishing trick, disappearing in the blink of an eye. Skarmory squawked as it cleaved a hole through the arena floor and could only swivel its head in confusion, trying to figure out how Shelgon could have vanished from right under its beak. Steven, too, had missed just how Shelgon had escaped, and in shock, he looked to where the champion stood, arms crossed with an easy stance. Before he could get in a word, Drake's eyes slid skyward, and Steven found himself following his gaze yet again. Just reaching the peak of its jump was Shelgon. Still gaping at how such a heavy, clunky Pokémon could leap so high, words failed Steven as he watched helplessly as the dragon lowered its head and plummeted earthward towards the equally stunned Skarmory, too exhausted to do anything but accept its fate. Shelgon's headbutt landed with a thunderous collision that left both Pokémon in a heap. Its rotund body deflecting most of the impact, Shelgon rolled from the pile until it was back on all four legs, and with a grunt, it turned back to regard the crater it had left after pile-driving Skarmory into the dirt. The dust didn't have to fully clear for Steven to know his Pokémon would not be getting up again. Wordlessly, he returned Skarmory to its ball, and the now familiar tightness snaked its way back into his chest. What was happening? Half his team was either knocked out or too exhausted to put up much of a fight, and yet he'd only managed to do the same to one of Drake's Pokémon. Was this truly as far as he could go?